Hi everyone, welcome back to Dragon Image. Today we're having a look at uh, the interface for the uh, Ninja V. This is an Atomos recorder slash monitor that records up to 4K 60 frames. So today we're just going to be going into the menu system so you can get a closer look at the options available to you when you're using it. Okay, so the first thing I can see is that it's kind of got a slightly different layout to the original uh, Atomos Ninja and Shoguns. So then the bottom here we have our record button, our playback, which we've got some recorded to play back on, the monitor and the edit. Uh, at the moment on the monitor, if I switch between there, you can kind of see edit, thumbs up, thumbs down, first camera, second camera, um, zebras, uh, black and white, uh, I don't know what the other ones are. Uh, if I go back to monitor, we've got our histogram, so we can turn these on and off. So these are all things that allow me to kind of see um, the, kind of the results that I'm kind of getting. Uh, we do have our peaking, uh, we have zebras, we have our uh, exposure assist, and the black and white function. If I go over here to this menu here, this gives me a lot more kind of options. So for instance, here I can have my preloaded LUTs, um, up to eight of them by the looks of it. If I want to go back to waveform, I can select if it's only half the screen, the opacity, if it's the full screen, etc, etc. Focus peaking, I can then select the color I want for the focus peaking, how thick I want that focus peaking color to be, um, if I go zebras, I can set the percentage for that threshold for the zebras. Uh, again, LUTs. Um, on monitor, I can uh, say, do I want it to be native, Rec 709. Uh, I can have the LUT up here on there. I can flip it. If I go display, I can then set my parameters for the other gain, gamma, etc, etc, etc. Let me close that. Um, if I go up to here, if I tap that, so it's all touchscreen, very easy to use. I can see that my input currently is uh, UHD 25, which is 4K. Um, I've got my camera output uh, on, so Sony, S-Log, Rec. 709. Um, if I want to set my recording, so if I go here, at the moment it's not allowing me to see the space remaining because there is no card in there. I can set pre-roll, so if I want to have it so it records a couple of seconds before, um, before I press the button. Um, it does use up a lot more battery life, but it does give me the ability to kind of make sure that I get the shot. Um, if it's a high speed thing, uh, I can select which codec I want to be using. Uh, if, for instance, ProRes HQ, LT, 422, HQ. The files, so here I can uh, have a look at the files and name them, etc., etc., giving me a bit more options in metadata. Uh, meters, so we've got my audio meters here, so you can see me talking. This is actually being picked up by the camera specifically. Um, so it's uh, so it's not actually me talking; it's actually the me talking through the camera itself. Um, and then I've got my audio options as well. So gain for my left control, gain for my right control, and any audio delay that might be occurring due to wireless systems or so forth. And there you have it. So it's a very clean, crisp display, much cleaner than um, I had anticipated. Um, the signal that we're getting in is obviously 4K, so that's fantastic. And, it's, um, and it looks like it's going to be very intuitive and easy to kind of use, as well as give me the ability to kind of have a little bit more customization in the way that I use these features. Uh, so yeah, there you have it. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, if you're interested in the Atomos uh, Ninja V or any other Atomos product or just interested in video equipment in general, you can always visit your local Dragon Image or visit our website. You can follow us on Facebook and Twitter and view more videos on YouTube and Vimeo. Thanks.